Hello. So, I've been finding it pretty hard to stay motivated recently. Being at home most of the time and not really being able to see friends, it just kind of drains you. But one evening, as I was scrolling through YouTube like I always do, I came across this one video, Anime Doro, by this guy called Josh Chen. It was a simple but genius idea about using anime to transform the old but traditional technique known as the Pomodoro technique into something better. Now, growing up, I watched a lot of anime. I'd love to be able to just clone myself and get more work done. But until that becomes possible, I thought, why don't I give this anime Doro technique a shot? So how does the traditional method of the Pomodoro technique work? Well, you try to break up your work into cycles of 20 to 25 minutes of work and then five minutes of break. The problem with this is that it does take some time for anyone to sit down and really get into their work. And in reality, the amount of work you do is less than this 20 to 25 minutes. Also, your break of five minutes is often too short to really do anything besides maybe go on your phone, go to the bathroom, and it's nothing that really motivates you because it's nothing worth looking forward to. Typically, you do a few cycles and then at the end of it, you have a much needed longer break. But I feel like for a lot of people, the end result is feeling pretty unmotivated, feeling pretty tired and unaccomplished. Now, to bring on the transform way of doing all of this, Anime Doro. So Anime Doro works by having these 40 to 60 minute sessions of work, followed by one episode of an anime of your choice. When you cut out the openings and the endings, which is something I usually do anyways because I'm impatient, it works out to be about 19 to 20 minutes. So what's my game plan for trying this today? Well, I'll be doing three cycles of the anime Doro technique and I'll be doing 60 minute work sessions followed by one episode of Naruto. All right guys, so for the first session, I'll be doing some work on some of the pediatric activities that my med school has left online. So I just started this rotation on Monday and I'm super excited for it. In about three weeks time, I'll be able to go into the hospital and I'll be able to see patients. So uh, it'll be good to kind of scope the topic before I actually go into the hospital. And so the specific activity that I'm working on is on childhood rashes. And this is something which is obviously pretty common. So it's good to be familiar with it. So one cycle done, and now I'm gonna enjoy one episode of Naruto. It's been a while since I've watched Naruto, and essentially I'm just re-watching it now, but I think I wanna pick the part when Naruto is fighting pain, because I remember the fight scenes were really good. I'm gonna go kick back, relax, and then I'll be back to do another cycle. All right, so moving on to the second cycle of Anime Doro, where now I'm gonna be attempting some flashcards from the legendary deck of Ang King as I continue doing some USMLE prep. So I wanna do the psychiatry section as I've just finished the videos on that. If you guys wanna go all in on this anime experience and you guys can change your background on your Anki with this simple add-on. Um, I got this from another medical student on YouTube called Zach. And so you can just use this add-on and you can change your background to whatever you want. And you know, kind of spice up the vibes for when you're doing flashcards. And now let's cue another time-lapse. Ah. Okay. Ah. A favor, won't you hit me a baby? All this time I'm looking at my telephone. Cause I'm thinking of your hands And the way you make them dance on me On me Make a wish, take your pick Let me out before I sleep Take your pick, take your pick 
All right, so I finished the second cycle now of Anki and I'm about to kick back, relax and watch episode seven. But before I get into that, I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. If you guys wanna work on yourself and learn new skills, then I definitely recommend heading over to Skillshare. If you guys wanna work on something which I just did, which is Anki, I can recommend the Anki course by Ali Abdal. Ali's a great guy and he's a doctor from Cambridge and he gives really good tips on studying and productivity amongst other things. If that doesn't float your boat, there is a bunch of other classes in a variety of topics over at Skillshare, so I can guarantee you they will definitely have something for you. What's more, the first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description box below will get a free trial to the Skillshare Premium Membership. Big thanks to Skillshare for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. And with that out the way, let's get back to Anime Doro. So we're going into the third cycle of the anime doro technique and we're going into the home stretch. I'm about to do some hematology videos on US Assembly RX and that's all about conditions in the blood. I've done hematology in my fourth year so hopefully this isn't anything too new and it won't be overwhelming. <laughs> Alright guys, so after finishing that third cycle, I'm now just going to kick back and enjoy my longer break and watch my third episode of anime and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> So I finished the episode of anime now and it's actually dark outside because the sun sets super early in the UK But anyways, I thought I'd give you guys my thoughts on this whole anime door technique and Simply put I think it's a nice change. Honestly, it's such a simple change But by having something that you actually look forward to whether that's anime or you could also repurpose it for something else If it was some kind of TV show or something else It really kind of gets you going and gives you something to look forward to Some of the good things about it is you don't feel as tired by the end of it because you're not forcing yourself yourself to kind of just bulldoze through all the work you're trying to do and you actually do get a good amount of work done by the end of it if you do the math of it I spent three hours studying and I spent an hour watching anime so that's three hours in an hour um, versus if I had just done the traditional Pomodoro technique I would have done probably eight cycles the 25 minutes of work and five minutes of break to have the same sort of duration and that would add up to three hours and 20 minutes of studying and 40 minutes of break. And to be honest, the 20 minutes feels like such a negligible difference because it feels so different as an experience when you have something to actually look forward to. If I was just to do the traditional method of the Pomodoro technique, doing eight cycles is definitely a lot and that would definitely kick me out the butt. It's pretty easy to feel overwhelmed at med school with the amount of information we're expected to know. So I think this is something which I'll definitely try to do every now and again. The last thing I wanna talk about is the mindset I used to have versus the mindset I'm trying to build towards now. And this all stems from the idea of toxic productivity, which is something I definitely wanna make a whole video on in the near future. For example, growing up, I spent a lot of time watching anime as a kid, as a teenager, but after being in med school for five years, I'd say that that amount of time has definitely gone down. When you're surrounded by a bunch of people who are working a lot and you know, and you're in this sort of competitive environment, it's easy to feel like, oh, I'm not being productive or maximizing my time. I'm not spending every single waking second working. And and it's easy to then be like, oh, like, but if I watch that one episode of anime or if I watch that one TV show, I'm gonna feel bad about it. And obviously that's wrong. Trying to be productive isn't about squeezing every last second out of your day. It's about maximizing the time that you do have to make things easier for you and also more enjoyable for you as well. And that way you can be more thoughtful with your time. You taking a break, sitting down, doing something that you like, that makes you happy is being thoughtful of your time. 
you shouldn't have to feel bad for that. With my videos of where maybe I'm studying for long periods of times, or with even the study technique, don't try it out with the expectation that overnight your life's gonna change, you're gonna become some productivity guru. Instead, try and look at it like, how can I make this whole process more enjoyable? How can I make this process easier? and how can I be more thoughtful with my time? But anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. I've attached Josh's original video in the description box below. Thank you, Josh, for coming up with this amazing technique. Thank you guys for watching, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.